Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm back with another video. I'm riding the KTM this time. I don't actually know whether it's the same as... I don't think it is, right? It is the same. I know, like, last time the Gas Gas and Husky were the same. The KTM was different. It was faster. I don't know if it's, like, the same or if this is... Because, like, this is, like, the same setup as Husky yeah, It's, like, in terms of the gearing. And, like, this whole setup is, like, the same. So, I don't know if that's, like, if it is actually the same now. Because, I mean, in real life, they're the same. In real life, the new Husky and the new KTM are the same bike. I literally looked at it, like, the other day. I was, like, standing through it. The only difference is subframe and plastics. And seats, I guess. But, like, everything else, like, did. To. And the only reason the subframe's different is just to, like... Um, keep the plastics nice, and it's the KTM own design, but I mean, they're both that carbon, um, no, it's not carbon composite anymore, that's the 20, the previous Huskies were that, but they're not, I can't remember what they are, but they're like 60, they're 60%, I feel like it is still carbon, I don't know actually, um, what's well, a composite I think of some sort, I don't know, and then it's like, the re um, for, um, 40%, Aluminium, I think. So it's a lot stronger because they had some issues with the broken subframes in the Huskies. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm not Manitou. Manit I missed that up. Manitou. I think it's Manitou. Right, Manitou. Um, today, on the KTM 315 this time. Thought I'd change it up, and the Suzuki did not go well last time. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I would recommend. Actually, have I done the camera stuff on this? I think I have already because I was writing this, yeah. I think I'm stuck in this wall. I know I'm not. Okay. Um, anyway. This jump's short. I remember that. Yeah, and then this is a triple, but it's not very far on a... On a three foot... On a... It makes one. Oh, well... That's unfortunate. I normally quite enjoy these corners, you can literally like... Okay, well that's not what you do on them. I'd actually love to like be able to ride these tracks in real life. Like, it'd actually be so fun. There's certain things that I won't be able to do. I'm not a big jumper. I've like, I learned to whip a little bit, like slightly, and I can jump. My bike suspension is set up terribly for it because it's set up for endure, so it's super soft. Um, and then I've got like gummy tires that are super soft, and like it doesn't, it's not set up for MX. So I'll be very curious to actually get on an MX bike and try it. Um, because I think, I mean, life will be much better. I've ridden a 450 on the MX track, but it's too much for me. <laughs> I mean, very light still, and. Yeah, it's too much for me. Um, um, and I've ridden a 501, that's E 501, and a KTM 501, um, and a mixed track. And to be honest with you, they're, they're fun. They're so much easier to ride than a 450. 450 is so aggressive, and it's, it's just snappy, it's like it wants to kill you the whole time. And it's just, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I did ride a, a 450 Shoko. I mean, a Shoko, if you have never ridden one, it is a plank. It's literally like just one level bike, and very flat, and it wasn't really set up that great from how I'm used to. But I got used to it on the second lap and I was actually quite enjoying it. Um, so obviously, I, I don't know, I know I said it was an MX bike. So, Shoko obviously don't make an MX bike. This Shoko has been fully converted, like the 19 is real well. Um, <clears throat> MX suspension, like full, like they converted it to an MX bike. Um, so it's MX bike, it wasn't originally though. But anyway, yeah, um... Um, 
mod lab or more second lap only? What? Surely not. That's inside line. Scrub that then breaks it. Oh, man, you person. Very rude. I think this day is not going well for me to be honest. <laughs> First video was like, yo, I'm doing so well. Next one was terrible. I actually do quite like this track as well. On a 125 or 250 this track's so good. Like, like a 125 this track is so fun. You can clear all the jumps where it's like you just go flat everywhere. And it's like a lot of fun. Both of these kind of like overkill for this map in my opinion. Should we get this? What is whoops today? Like that's not. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying that again. I need to get this whip done. That's a wall. <laughs> it's a stupid place to put a wall there. Like. Okay, let's try what the other way. That was not great either. Um, okay. Ooh, let's get a... Ooh, okay, that's very different. No, great, that was terrible. Okay. I wish there was like... I need another, like, on my controller, I need another like trigger with that's like at the top so I can actually have like a clutch that like I can feather and not have on or off. Let me try third gear. Yeah like that you don't want to like just drop the clutch as much. You want to like drop it and then sort of like feather it. Great start, but it's fine. We, we can we move, we move. I would say this map had some nice berms, would be quite nice. Like the berms don't really form with the ruts that well. Like if there's a berm and then you ride it off, then the ruts fall nicely on it. But they just a flat like track that doesn't really form very good berms. This is definitely my best lap so far, aren't you? Let off. Let's see if we can do that again. 
Well, not a good start. Everyone can start. No mind this hard side, you know. Slightly over scrubbed that one. <laughs> oh, what that like scrubbed thing was. Like that's a back. That's how you get the backwards whoops. You know, that was actually not a very good one. But I mean, that's 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 why I, I was trying to whip hard. Like I wasn't scrubbing it. I was whooping that. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. I can see some very fast way of hitting that. I don't know if it'll count as track limits because you can hit it right there. Ooh, you can even land actually down here. If you land that sideways enough, you can, you can hit that. Let me let me try and hit this quickly. Just give it one go, and then I'll continue. Hundred percent. If you're proper skilled, you can hit that. I'm not proper skilled. I'm very not proper skilled. I mean, I haven't had this game that long. And I mean, you only learn how to ride clean laps once you're like at 300 plus hours, so... <laughs> I mean, I am above 300 hours. I don't actually know what I'm at now. I think I'm at like 500. I know, it's pretty poor 500 hours. I expect to be a lot better at the game, but... Not. Be fair, whack me on a 125, he's a get. He's a get. Then I'm quick. Well, I was. Oh, that rut caught me. Um, to be honest with you, I think I'm uh, kind of like do this lap and call it there. It's been quite a long recording, I feel. I don't feel like I've done many laps, but it's been a long recording, and this track's not even that long most of the time. So, I don't know then, maybe I'm just washed. This first lap took forever though. I what I did. You know what, I'm just gonna call it share, to be honest. It's been like quite a a rough time, I guess. What happened in the first lap? Wait, what? Five minutes? Huh? Doesn't make sense. Five minutes? How did I spend five minutes on that? 3.5... You know what, shirt? <laughs> Um, okay, I guess, um, thanks for watching, I guess, um, uh, see you in the next video, um, like and subscribe, yeah, see you in the next video.